so good morning guys that's um, behind me there that's the hotel um, a Aegis and behind that is the club where I stay um, good location so yeah it's a lovely hotel it's all uh, designed in the way of a Cuban thing um, which we've seen in previous videos um, but yeah really nice no hotel everything uh, you've got Netflix, Wi Fi, everything you need, um, and it's all within walking distance of the main street. So, yeah, I just thought I'd let you know that. Um, I'll probably try to add a picture of a pinpoint of where it is, a little map. So, it'd be up here or down here somewhere, so you can have a look at that. Um, and I'll put it on the screen now, and then you can have a note. But, yeah, uh, so now I'm just walking, um, got my bag on my back. And I'm going to head down to the jetty and see if I can get a boat somewhere. Um, spend a couple of days on an island somewhere, one of the islands. Just going to have to see what it's about. Yeah, so this is the main um, the main road that I stayed on. So the hotel's behind me back here. Um, and I'm just walking along, show you roughly how far it is to the beach. So the beach, I ain't going to video where you record shit this. But the beach is right down the bottom, down there. Well, then traffic lights are in a really far distance. That's the beach. And then obviously my hotel is just down here. Well, it was just down here. So it just gives you an idea of what's around. Yeah. So anyway, as I said, I'm going to walk down to the beach, walk along. I won't video down there unless it's saying it's sighted going on, because uh, I've done that before. I walk around that jetty that you saw me at when I'd done my long walk the other day, when I met the, the, the friend of mine. So, I need to find out what the boats are. Um, I'm a bit late this morning. Yeah, a bit of a late night. It's this way. It's this way, look. Hello. Hello. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> Bless him. Ten o'clock in the morning. Morning. Ten o'clock in the morning. They're trying to get people in for a massage. Yeah. So yeah, it's, it's yeah, it's ten past ten. Head down there. See what's about. If there's nothing available, I might just look another hotel somewhere around the corner. As you know, but I, I don't like to stay in one place too long. Okay. Catch you there. Just see this guy's the Wave Hotel. I think it's a car, it's probably not a car, it's obviously some plastic thing, but it's meant to look like a caddy. Yeah, it's quite cool, I think. So I'm guessing it's a uh, fiberglass or plastic. Yeah, yeah, it's plastic. built just for the hotel. Big old thing, mate. Nice car, though. Matte black. Be nice. Well, there's lots of massage places around, guys, as you know. But this one might be a little bit extreme. Mm. Might pop in there. This is the uh, Glow Walking Street we shop. Must be some good shit because this guy is out of it. Okay, guys, so here we are up Ali High Pier. This is where you can get the ferry over to Kolan. So I'm just going to walk along here and see if I can jump my ferry. I think it's a couple of hours on the ferry. Um, yeah, so this is obviously where I am, where you saw me walk the other day. Uh, I'm not sure the price on the ferry yet. I'll have to find out. I've got the price wrong on the hotel, as someone kindly pointed out. <laughs> um, where I stayed on the Hotel Cova, which is the hotel I stayed at, which looks... So that worked out at 50, 55 English pounds for three nights, so uh, whatever that works out to me. 
I think about 18 quid maybe a night. Oh, cool. Yeah, really worth it. It was a lovely oh, shop, cool. brand new. So, yeah. So sorry guys, I got that a bit wrong. Hey, there you go. That's right. We're not all perfect. Not like we all think we are sometimes, though. Hey. Anyway, we we'll carry along here. And see where you can get this ferry from. On the ferry, ready to go. This was um, 30 bucks. I don't know how long it takes, I think an hour, maybe two hours. I don't know. I can see the islands, I don't know how long it's over. <coughs>
Okay guys, I've walked up about a quarter of a mile. Um, I haven't found nowhere to stay just yet. I've not, not really been looking that hard. So I've, I've seen this place, the Marrakech Coffee and Eatery. So I'm gonna go in here and get a coffee. Um, and take some munch. Looks quite nice. It's got a lovely view of the ocean behind it. You can see. So yeah. Go and order some food. Take it from now. So yeah, I'll have a coffee now. Maybe something to eat. Yeah. It's pretty nice. Something to the menu. Rose Lafay, 95 bar. Appetizers. Okay, guys, I'm going to look at here and have some meat. I'll get back to you in a minute. Well, that's nice. Uh, carbonara. Just fancied. A bit European. But that was cool. Um, had a coffee in there. Now I'm going to go and find a hotel. You got run over by a golf buggy. So yeah, this is um, Highland's got no um, no cars in it, just scooters and golf uh, golf buggies. And that's it. But the golf buggy is electric, so you can't hear them sneaking up behind you. But from what I've seen, I've only walked probably a k that way, and I'm going to walk k this way. Um, this is nothing, but it's it's pretty. It's nice. It's yeah, I like the islands I like. So. We're going to find the, uh, this place, see if it's any good to stay tonight. Um, if it's good, I'll stay there, get a scooter and have a little ride around. Hello, sweaty cab. You okay? Hello. <laughs> I like a hat. <laughs> okay. Cup on cup. Bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Five, give me five. Five, give me five. Five, give me five. Give me five. Boom! <laughs> bye, bye bye. Bye bye, thank you. Cup on cup. Hello right, guys, got myself a room for night. Ban Varog something. Um, as you can see, that's the balcony view. Looking over to Patia. There you go. Um, yeah, Ban Varog. Varage, I think it was called, Van, no, Van Varage, something, anyway, so 950 baht for the night, uh, which is around about 20 something pounds, 22 pounds maybe, um, and that is with a scooter for the day as well, so that's not too sad, room though not too bad, um, air con, Toilet, shower, no towels. Towels? No towels on the bed. Toilet roll, I don't know if there's any. No shampoo. Have to get some shampoo. Um, I don't know, some shampoo there, that's handy. Don't know where this door goes. Oh, a little balcony in the back. Looks over. Some houses. So, yeah, not bad. I'm only going to stay here one night. I've got the scooter. I reckon I'll be able to see the old island tonight. And then maybe a bit in the morning if I have a little run or a walk if I wake up early enough. Um, yeah, so let's jump on the scoot and then go and have a look. So uh, there's my little horse, guys. Bald tire. Front one's. Back one's bald with a capital B. And the front one's bald. Yeah. No number plates on it. No place on the island. So yeah. You know, I've just ridden a couple of miles down the road. A lot of bikes here, so it must be something good. I think it's a beach. So we're going to have a look. Pretty chilled.
scooter. No one's wearing helmets. There's no cars. Just these golf buggies you see rolling in. So just taking it easy. Um, I don't even provide you helmets. There's nowhere to get helmets, so it's not as easy as you can get one. Um, but yeah, pretty cool. Just um, sorry about my finger, but the way I'm holding my phone, I think it might just go in front of the camera a little bit. So yeah, I'm just out of a little way around. I'm going to a place now called Noel Beach. Which is up here somewhere. Let me see if I can switch the camera around. Here we go. So that's my view to the left. Up here, on the other side there. It's pretty chilled out the island. To be fair, yeah. there's a lot of people here, but I think they're day trippers. Um, the accommodation I got is okay. Um, it wasn't bad. Nearly a thousand baht for the scooter, which ain't bad. You pay three hundred baht for the scooter, so it's seven hundred baht for the combo. So that's that do me. It's only going to be one night. I think I'll probably get most of done in the, today and in the morning. Um, yeah. So yeah, we're heading down here. Um, so I've got my... I'll let it go right around the island. There's a viewpoint up the top somewhere, which is supposed to be good by Big Buddha. So I'm going to get up there as well. And um, take you guys along the way. Hopefully we see some snakes and shit. You know what I'm like, I'll have a reptile. But uh, I haven't seen nothing since I've been over this time, but mostly because I've been in Pattaya and uh, Bangkok. Anyway, let's carry on. Okay, so this is Nile Beach. Oh, it's so crystal clear. Busy, but not too busy. Another place, isn't it? Another kind of paradise sort of place. So, as you can see, that's the in the distance, guys. So, I'm going to have a walk around here, a bit of exercise, and then carry on exploring the island. Whoa, it's so clear. Tien Beach. Oh, it's so cold. So clear. Some old rickety bridge. It's like falling down in places. But it looks alright, safe enough to keep on it. It should be good. Come hey, up. Wake up. It's a bit soft. As you can tell. I <laughs> can't walking. I should have my top on really. I'm very, very hot and still burnt from the other day. But uh, it is what it is. I think I'll be alright. I normally am. So just take it easy. This guy's taking pictures. We'll move the tits out. Sad bastard. Not him, me, throwing the camera and having a look. <laughs> this is nice, this is like um, a little resort. There is a couple of cars on it, well not a couple of cars, but them bussy thing like you jump on the pickup truck. There's, I've seen two of them now, so there must be some of them about, obviously. Some more of them about. But I've only seen two. But most of it is scooters and golf buggies, really. Golf buggies that pick you up from the uh, pick you up from the food port there. It's sand is pure white, yeah. It's 
said the water's crystal clear. So I saw a Buddha from down the bottom and uh, worked my way up and there's a path that goes up with some steps so I might do this one first see where this goes and then um, go the other way it's pretty cool very buddhified as you see but we go up here first it's always nice to go up here good on the legs ah oh, it's right up the top there you see it
We all seem to end up going upstairs. Right, made it to the top. Sorry, a little bit out of breath. I've got a lot of steps coming up there and they're all different shapes and sizes. So, yeah, it's brought me out here overlooking the island and some other islands, which I'm not sure what they are. They don't look um, that big, so. Um, and then overlooking Patia, which is over there, and around the corner. I'm not sure where that is over there. I'll have to have a look on the map. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. Yeah. Anyway, it goes along Patia, and it goes round to whatever, wherever that is, that main city type thing now. Then it goes round the corner and then into that peninsula over there. And right over the back there is Bangkok. And then it travels round and drops down this way, or uh, Ratchamburi, or Hien, um, oh, Kiri Khan, and then all the way down. So, yeah, this is the Gulf of Thailand. And I am sweating and worn out. All right, guys. Well, do I, don't I? It says it's private or it's got some tape up there. And there's a hole in the wall here. Um, so, in for a penny, in for a pound. I'm going in, guys. I'm going in. It might be just a, another temple thing. Some wooden sort of structure going up there. Look. Even more. Oh, for someone who's so fit, I was out of breath from them steps. It must be the um, humidity. Okay. What a bath. It is weird, weird. I cycle like 100k every other day in Australia. I run every other day, so cycle one day and run the next, maybe 5k. Um, really fit. Can't put a steps like that, and then yeah, takes it out of you. But then again, I just got the scooter, so I really wasn't warmed up. Maybe that's it. I don't know. But it's coming back now. My heartbeat's back down to like 40, 45, so it's back down to where it should be. But yeah, so let's have a look at this wooden thing they're building here. Um, nice little bamboo up here as well, which is always nice to see. I do like bamboo. These are cool. See these everywhere. I like them, but I want to knock them over. But I won't. But I really do. Why is that so bad that I really want to knock that over? Mm. I won't do it. But I just really want to. Look, look, look how close I get, look. Oh, I just, oh my god, I moved it, sorry. The sun has dropped a bit. It's uh, ten past five. And this is basically meet me by the beach or something it's called. I'm not sure. 
He's always obviously by language. Dogs around him a little bit more receptive. Dogs that were It's a hotel that is the shape of a manta ray and it's abandoned. So, you know what that means. Time for a peep. So I'm not sure if you can get in. It's full of paces. All the roofs coming down and everything, so yeah, apparently it was a hotel. The woman would be coming here, it was windy, in case Saint fell on your head. Says welcome, come in. Let's have a look. Fuck it. Oh. Not sure how safe it is in here. Just got to be careful of the floor. hanging down. I can't make too much noise if that falls down, I'm trapped in there ever. People will wonder where I am. Mate, I'll be right. Ouch, nets. Oh, mosquitoes. Pretty crazy, right? I think it was a sea life centre. By the look of it. I reckon it was a sea life centre. Hmm. Who knows? Yeah, I reckon it was definitely a sea life centre. Hence the reason why you got the big manta ray outside for the roof. Which is up there, obviously, all falling down. Oh, stinks. I mean, don't like you can get anywhere else. It looks like that's it. Have a look down there. The floor seems pretty solid. As you go straight through, ends up in a fucking fish tank. So I'm not dark in here, I can't see shit. So you don't want me light on. Battery too low. Oh no, nah, man! I can't even put my light on. Sorry, guys. But yeah, definitely a sea life centre. There's water in there, so there could be a shark in there or something. Nah. Crocodile. Oh, 
anyway, I'm going to head back out the door because my battery's low and it's too dark to see. But yeah, there you go, guys. An abandoned sea life centre. Okay, I'm outside again now. Just saw this little path here. This is the bit that's hanging off. I'll walk under it. As you do. Yeah, it's safe. Fuck it. Just to see what's around here. See if there's another entrance, maybe. I've got to be batteries near dead. Oh, that's a good, uh, good little path. Serious louver. So this place looks abandoned as well. Whether this was part of... I don't know, it might not be abandoned. Someone's sleeping in there. Hello. Is there anybody in here? Hmm. What floor is it, you think? Uh, I'm not sure what it is. So these are probably the old um, filtration systems they used for the, for the aquarium itself. It's all abandoned, the whole thing. Hmm. They have these good ideas, build these places and no one comes. It's a bit out of the way, so... A bit of a view of Patti out there. That's a real cat. Hangs on drugs and... Battery's dead low. So I've got myself some chicken, sticky rice, mango smoothie, and that's me zoo. So guys, I'll probably check out now. So the battery's gonna drop out. So that's the end of this little vlog. Hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget like, subscribe, comment, hate it, whatever you want to do. I'm easy. You take care guys and you love you all. That's the stuff again. I thought we'd it was not real, but it is real. You can't see, but if you lift it out of his eyes, um, if you don't open his eyes, I think it's a dry It's like the Johnny, I'd call him the, the Moggy Depp. It's cool though. Tough on life. Back to LA.